In this video, I'm going to be putting up my new projector screen. It is the Elite Screens model M135V, which is a 135 inch diagonal manual pull down screen. It is in 4.3 format. I chose this screen for my home theater instead of the more traditional 16.9 movie format, since I'm going to be hanging it over a window and I want to completely cover that. I was able to choose the delivery day and time for when they were sending the screen. It came well packaged, it's actually triple boxed, and it appears to be in good condition. The screen can either be wall mounted or suspended. I'm going to be hanging it using wall brackets. Other than the screen itself, inside the box there's a lanyard, two wood screws, and two drywall anchors. There are also two different quick user's guide pages, and hopefully those will be enough in focus here that you can pause and actually read them if you want to. These also have links on them for the Elite Screens website, and you guys should go check that out if you want more details on screens because there really is quite a bit of information there. The wall brackets have to be ordered separately, um, but these wall brackets that I got are also the Elite Screens brand. They come with the screws wall anchors, carabiner snap links, and the eye bolts. There's also an installation guide, and that covers both wall and ceiling installation methods. I'm going to be mounting them on my wall. I do want to point out that neither the screen nor the brackets came with the required U-bolts that you need for hanging the screen, so this meant a trip to the hardware store for that. We also got some longer screws since we have drywall over concrete block. The brackets went up without any problems. You can just ignore the other screws in the wall, those were from some old curtains. When putting these brackets up, um, you want to remember to leave yourself enough room between the bracket and the ceiling for tightening your eye bolts, so don't put them flush against the ceiling or you won't be able to get your bolts in. After putting the U-bolts on the screen, it's time to hang it up. In the Elite Screens video, they uh, do their wall mount with just one person, but if you are using the brackets and hanging it, it's definitely a two-person job. You're going to want somebody to hold up the screen while you clip it. Once hung, we decided we'd prefer a little more space between the screen and our blinds. However, in order to raise it up the desired inch, we needed to switch out their eye bolts because theirs are only threaded at the end, and we needed ones where the thread goes all the way to the eye. So now that those are swapped, adjusting the height of the screen is simple. However, we weren't actually quite finished yet as we noticed a different problem. The screen's weight isn't centered under the U-bolt, and it hangs with a tilt. This causes the screen to rub on the case every time it's lowered and raised. I'm not sure if this would actually be a problem, but we went ahead and fixed it anyway by adding blocks of wood that'll hold the screen at the correct angle. So, ta-da! Our screen is up! And it actually looks like a good quality screen. It's nice and smooth. Um, the material does have a subtle texture, but you only notice it up close. I was going to comment on how nice the slow hands-free retraction is, but this feature mysteriously stopped working. The camera had run out of space and I was reshooting some stuff when all of a sudden this happened. You can tell from my dad's exclamation in the background just how unexpected and really abrupt that was. The screen still works fine otherwise, it does hold at the various heights that you pull it to. The only thing is you need to hold it while raising it to prevent it zooming up much too fast. Alright, on to the fun part. Movies look 
great. The screen is a 1.0 gain, which is neutral, so you're not gaining or losing any brightness with it. Now the benefit of this is that the viewing angle is amazing. I mean, you can go all the way to the side and it still looks great. Let's pop actually behind it to see how well the black backing works. I have the advantage of being able to actually test this by going completely behind the screen since I have another room on the other side. The movie shows through so faintly that my video wasn't even able to pick it up. Um, I did take a still picture to show it. So you can see the black backing really does block out almost all of the light. So this screen is definitely an option for those of you like me with windows in your walls. So overall, yeah, I definitely say I am happy with this screen. We're all enjoying it. I think it's a good choice and quality for the cost. Alright, I hope this video was helpful to you guys, and if it was, please click that thumbs up button, and subscribe if you want to see more reviews. Thanks for watching.